Hi everyone, Jake here and welcome back to another episode of Wolfsburg Warriors. We are getting, you know, very potentially close to the end of the series now. It's all getting very exciting and today we have a Champions League semi-final second leg against Chelsea. If we win it, we're in the final and we're one step away from the end of the series. I'm excited, I hope you guys are. Let's run the intro and get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, like I say, we're here playing Chelsea. It speaks for itself. Champions League semi-final in a series where it ends when we win the Champions League. This one could really be our year and there's even more to it than just this Chelsea game. We've got a lot to talk about that I want to explain in the next couple of minutes of the video. But before we do, I'd like to ask you guys, I know I do it all the time, but as we get towards the end of the series now, less people in the episodes, that kind of thing. But the more support we can get on likes and comments and all of that, it really helps the video in the algorithm and maybe puts it in front of a few people's eyes who can catch back up on the series before the final episode. So if you can like, comment anything about the episode, about the series, about any Anything in general, let me know your favorite color of the rainbow, whatever it might be. Any support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the Discord in the description, notification bell, join button, whatever you want to do. That is pretty much everything we need to do before we get into today's episode. Um, yeah, Chelsea, Champions League, we've knocked out Manchester City, Manchester United, the people who have won this competition in the three years that we've simulated in this world. We had Man U the first season, no, Man City the first season, and then two Man U Champions League wins in this fake version of football history. And we have stopped that from happening again. And there's going to be a new winner this year. It's either going to be us, Chelsea, or... Benfica. Now that might be surprising to you. We'll explain what happened there in a second, but as you already know, Champions League we're running away with. We're playing very well in general. We played the first leg against Chelsea and drew 1-1. I'll show you the goals from that in a minute. And the Bundesliga has been going well, like I mentioned, as well as the Pokal. We're actually on for a quadruple here. We've won the German Super Cup. We've won the Bundesliga. The Pokal should be a theoretical win for us. And then the Champions League is, of course, the last thing that we're after. Everyone's in great form. Before I do show this Chelsea game, though, let me mention to you what I just said about Benfica, because it surprised me as much as it surprised you guys. I mentioned a few episodes ago, I wanted Benfica in the quarterfinals or the round of 16 because I really think we'd absolutely smash them. I did not think they'd get all the way to the final. And now that I've seen them there, I really do think this is our year to win it. There doesn't seem to be a better time. Um, they played Liverpool in the semi-final and just scraped past them in a penalty shootout. Yes, they're a good team. Are they so good that we can't beat them? I don't think so. They're only third in the Portuguese first division and by a long distance as well. They're nowhere near some of the other teams in there. I think it's an easy win for us, I'm, not to get ahead of ourselves, but if we can make it to the final, it's a massive deal. I think this really could be the year we do it, but first we need to get over what is almost the final before the final, I suppose, because I think Chelsea will be classed as a harder task than Benfica, but they aren't a better team than Man U and Manchester City in this world. So the fact that we've already knocked them out says good things about us. Now, in the first game against Chelsea, they ran a 4-4-2, which surprised me more than probably anyone. And they actually really stunted the way that we played. I mean, you can see here, yes, we were better than them. We had countless shots, countless possession. But in terms of the highlights that we saw, there was only one for us and it was the goal. It was all Chelsea in terms of key opportunities. We just peppered their goal a lot with average ones, but they were pretty good. They're actually quite worryingly good. And I thought we were going to go um, out of the away leg with a loss, which would have been pretty poor on our end and would have really hurt us going into the second leg. But we did make it 1-1, which is it's, it's as good as we're going to get from that game, to be honest. I think we were lucky to get the 1-1. One, one. We can see here Maxi Gomez with a great finish in far too much space, went to VAR, but did get allowed. And then we scored later on, Jude Bellingham scoring against an English team. Some great interplay, Kessie to Bellingham. Bellingham brings it down fantastically, finishes into the corner, again goes to VAR, again counts, but that was a massive goal for us in this tie just after half time because it means what was looking like a game where I got worried, we could kind of sit on that one goal we scored, take the draw, and bring it home for a home leg in our stadium where I think, I just think we've got it. I think this is really the year where we're going to do it. The next episode, if we do get through, will be the Pokal final and the Champions League, which will be fairly close together, I would imagine. So that'll be quite fun to see if we can win the quadruple. We can run some of the B team players in the Pokal final and save the big ones for the Champions League. We'll see what we get up to. But I'm very excited for this match against Chelsea. Probably going to be a shorter episode than usual because, you know, it's only one game. 
Um, it could be quite a quick one as well. It's going to be quite a cagey Champions League affair, but who knows how it's going to go. I'm hoping for another smashing like we did against Man U because at home we are a different beast and we beat Man U like 4-0 away at Old Trafford. So that is already saying something. But the team we're going with today is Castile's Baku Lacroix Gavardial Nets with Nico, Bellingham, Kessie, Wurtz, Sesco and Malcoco finishing off the rest of the team. Very excited by what might happen in this game. We could really be an inch away from winning the trophy if we can get the win here. Let's just change a couple of players around on the bench who I think could be important. Sepulveda definitely does not deserve that spot. Let's give it to Arnold. And I think with that being said, I think we're good to go. I'm a bit nervous here because if this all goes wrong, we've got a whole, you know, another season, maybe another two seasons. Maybe we just set the limit that if we don't win it this year, the series is over. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've loved this series. Okay, here we go. We're ready for the game. Um, it could be a quick one. It could be a slow one. Who knows how it's going to go. Hopefully it's no extra time penalty situation. Just want to check that Chelsea are playing the 4 4 2 that I thought they would do. So let's wait to see what they play here. But um, yeah, it's, it's quite a tough match, like I mentioned, against Chelsea. It felt just felt like our tactics really clashed and it worked well for them. Um, it's a good team. I have no clue who that manager is, by the way. So let me know if you know who that guy is. I genuinely have no idea. I'm sure he's important if he's managing Chelsea at this stage and football manager. Maybe I've just, you know, I don't keep, I must not be keeping up with European football very well. I bet he's like Valencia manager or something like that that I don't know about. Here we go. Throwing works into the box. It's a good start. Makoko with a strong header into Mendy's arms. I thought that was going to be the end of the highlight, but apparently not. It was a good start from us though. We just need to be a little bit more clinical when we get chances like that, because who knows how many we're going to get against a very strong Chelsea team. Here's uh, Kante almost getting it take off in by Makoko. Ibanez, Chelsea playing it around nicely, finding the spaces between our defenders. Kante gives it away to Bakuvo. Sesko holds up, finds Drew Bellingham, fires it against the post. That's two great chances already now. And this is what I mean. We need to take these because I don't know how long we get these kind of chances against this. Maybe we'll get a million, but I don't expect it. The way that Chelsea played in that first leg, very structured, very organised. I mean, you can kind of see by the roles they use, and it's a bit of an odd one to try and defend against. Wide playmakers, you know, a target forward that isn't Lukaku, even though Lukaku's on, he's depressing forward. It's very strange. Here we go. Nets gets us in behind with a pass to Mokoko, like tipped away by Mendy. Was that the highlight or are we getting more? His words, Bellingham. Drew Bellingham. Get in. Drew Bellingham, what a goal from him. What a signing he's been. He's had a highest average match rating across the whole season. That is what we needed. Just something to go in like that. About 30 minutes in, it now forces Chelsea to play a bit more attacking and that might give us an opportunity to make it 2-3-0, make it comfortable. What a strike from Bellingham. Mendy's not getting there. Well done, everybody. Great play. This is good. Great start to the first half. We'll take that into half time. I'd, I'd, I'd happily sit on it for the whole game if it needs be. But I don't imagine it's going to be that way. But Chelsea so far, not adjusting too much to what we've done. And we do go into half time and we do have the 1 0 win. Very 1 0 one advantage. Not a win just yet. 2 1 on aggregate, though. We're doing very well. And um, before we do get in the second half, just in case it does end quite quickly and you guys then shoot off, I just want to say big thank you to you guys for all the support on the channel up to this stage on the series. Uh, to you guys who are still here, really does mean a lot. I know I say it fairly regularly, but also quite inconsistently. Thank yous, but I really should. Um, all of the support on the channel is greatly appreciated. The fact that the channel's getting bigger means we're earning a bit of money on here now. It's nothing crazy to be transparent with you. It's probably just like pocket change to most people, but I've been stacking it up from this channel and using it to buy things to reinvest into the quality. We bought an Elgato key light not long ago, which I did mention, which is kind of like boosted how the videos look. Um, and you might notice the audio is a bit better this time because well, I hope it's better anyway. I bought a much better microphone, the Elgato Wave 3, different kind of microphone, sounds a bit more boomier this is my first real test of it so let me know if there's any issues so i can fix them but thank you guys for the support getting us to this point it means we can now get rid of the toner microphone which was some cheap amazon find um if you want a microphone i, I wouldn't not recommend it but i wouldn't recommend it either problem with that was it was it was okay i mean plug in and play the microphone was absolutely shocking to be honest i had to look at a video on like all the best settings to adjust your microphone and we got it to sound decent we got a but I think that was like 40 quid. We got like a 40 quid microphone to sound like a 80 quid microphone in the end with a load of settings. But when I first bought it, it sounded like a 5P microphone, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but yeah, just thank you for getting us to the point where we can get better equipment and stuff. And hopefully it reaps the rewards for you guys and makes you enjoy the content a bit more when it's a bit more clean and a bit more polished. Speaking of polished and clean, that run from Kessie was brilliant. It's a shame it did not end up on a goal. 
He had a million minutes there to take his time, put the ball in the back of the net. They kind of powered it right at Mendy. Can't be too annoyed because he kind of crafted the chances himself. But we do go 70 minutes in. I'm ready to bring Piccoli on for Sesco. Chelsea not showing much so far, but they only need one chance, I'm sure. We would like a second, though. Thank God that was Timo Werner. Thank God that was Timo Werner. The ball was played through perfectly to Werner there. He's volleyed it, completely smashed it over the bar. God, I could not be happier that it fell to him. No offence, Timo. I'm a Chelsea fan. I, I really like him when he does well. I mean, I like him all the time, but I, I really want him to do well, should I say. What's happening? What is happening? What is happening? The cross has been sent off. I have no clue what for. It was a second yellow. Looks like he was just having an aerial challenge with the Kaku. Maybe the ball hit him on the hand. I don't know. That's for a spanner in the works because we're now missing him for the Champions League final, which is harsh. He's been with us right from the start, Lacroix. But we've got to deal with that. Right, here's what I'm going to do. Target forward Piccoli. Hold the ball up. See the game out. Daviv is perfectly good enough to play in a match like this. And then we just need a little bit more support in midfield because everyone's getting a bit tired. So I think Kessie comes off for Xiaomeni. Add a bit of defensive nows to it. Add a bit of energy to that box-to-box -box role. Hopefully see out the next 10 minutes or so. I'm not changing the intensity, the tactic at all um, in terms of how it... Oh my God, if we conceded then, I would have seemed so stupid. Why is Mason Mount running like this? <laughs> yeah, I'm not changing the intensity uh, or the mentality, should I say. That's what it's called. So it's just going to butcher everything up. I'll happily do this. We've had red cards before and use this kind of situation where we just bring a defender on, leave one guy up top. Cody will do the job up there. We just need to see it out. No, I'm not going very defensive. I'm not falling into the trap. I don't know what I just clicked. I meant to click the man more. I hope I have not messed everything up, but based on the fact everyone's gone sad, I've obviously clicked the wrong one. Um, we're out of subs. We can't do anything else to waste time. Three minutes. Come on. We're three minutes away from a Champions League final. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We're into the Champions League final. We're playing Benfica in a Champions League final after knocking out the three biggest teams in England, three of the best teams in Europe. The, the, I feel like this is our year. We've actually made it into a Champions League final. It's a shame that Lacroix is going to miss it, um, but he's stupid for getting himself sent off. I did not see what it was. Um, it'll be written in here, right? It'll say like second yellow card for something X, Y, Z. Let's have a look. Um... Handball, yeah. So he got sent off for a handball. That that's interesting. I did not see that. I thought he just jumped up with him. But there we go. We're playing. We're playing Benfica in the final. Players are tired. The Chelsea boss thinks he didn't deserve anything. I'd agree. I think we did well. <sighs> Next episode could be the final one. I almost expect it to be against Benfica, but we can't take it not seriously. We're at the Camp Nou, uh, the Barcelona ground. A thousand, hundred thousand capacity near enough. Oh man, nerve wracking, right? Completely nerve-wracking, but here we go. We've made it to a Champions League final. This is going to be the one. I'm excited for the next episode, guys. I'll see you there. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Bit of a tense match, but we made it out. Maybe not the world's most exciting, but who cares? We got the win. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.